Hey dudes and welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create shadows in Inkscape. So the main two shadows I'm going to show you is the Gaussian shadow and the flat shadow. So let's start by making the Gaussian shadow. So let's start by creating any shape or you already made a design and you just want to add a shadow. Let's make a circle. Let's just change the color something more mellow than this red. Okay. Then, let's just duplicate the layer, so Control D, and let's go to the Edit Colors, Edit Col Object Colors, Gradient Stroke, or, or you can use Shift Control F. As you can see, there's a blur here, so it will apply a Gaussian blur effect on the shape. So let's just increase that. Of course, it doesn't look like more shadow, more looks like a glow. You can also use this this technique to create glows. So, in order to make it, you know, a shadow, just make it a darker color. So, I'm going to use this color. But of course, it's over the shape that you want to have a shadow with. So, you just go to lower selection to the bottom of the end, and there. Quite easy. It's also very effective on text. So, vector. Okay. Then, repeat the same. Control D. Create a blur. Then, lower that. Let's just change the color. And widen that. There you go. As you can see, it's also hard to select blur. Or the blur. Nicer. Now you know how to make the Gaussian blur. I'm going Gaussian blur. I mean Gaussian shadow. Now it's time to make the flatter shadow. So let's make a square this time. And just duplicate the layer again. And make the shadow into the color you want. So I'm going to choose this dark grey. This time, let's lower this and use the arrow keys to adjust its position. Quite diagonal. That's the basic shadow, if you want that. But I'm going to add uh, quite a division to make it flat. So control D again to the shadow and turn that to white. And let's move that diagonally between the shadow and the object. Go with that. Or change that back to color the orange, as you can see. But of course, if you're gonna try to make it transparent, so click the empty space or the supposed, supposedly negative space of the, of the shadow, and also shift and Shift and click to the shadow, go to path difference. As you can see, let's just make another shape here to so put my point. And there you go, it's transparent. But what about text? Well, text is a little bit more different, so let's let's try another vector. Let's change this color to something different. Something blue. Or just blue. There. Let's do that again. Control D, then shadow. And using your arrow keys, or you can do it manually, but I like using arrow keys because it's a little bit more accurate for me. And there. You can also change the direction. The shadow. I just like the shadow to be in the lower right part of the image. So yeah, it's down. Looks great, nice. Yeah, and just duplicate that layer again. Turn that to white, so we know the difference. And then, and lower that. And also took the shadow path difference. 
change the color of that. And ta da! And let's just make sure that the shadow and the object is transparent. Color. And there you go. Since this technique is very useful if you're making uh, making shadows for fonts that don't really have shadow versions of themselves like for example I've used Gotham on this so yeah I guess you get the idea of creating a shadows in Inkscape and in the next tutorial I will make a tutorial for making long shadows for Inkscape so stay tuned for that so yeah quite done anyways dudes I'm no greater See you later.